Hey, bestie. Kim Kardashian's mobile game, Kim Kardashian Hollywood, is shutting down on April 8th, which happens to be my girlfriend's birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Your birthday wish of dismantling Kim K's empire brick by silicon-filled brick is finally coming true. The game enjoyed over a decade of super fun, fast fashion, social climbing gameplay. I've never actually heard of the game itself, but apparently back when it started, it produced a lot of memes, with even PewDiePie doing a video on it. Basically, you play as a vacuous, desperate, soul-sucking fashion influencer, and you fight your way to the top of the industry. Bit too real. The game is a harrowing look at the state of the world, and a fantastic role model for kids. And I can only really think of two kinds of people who play it tweens who are getting trained for the tyranny of late-stage capitalism, or someone on such a downward bipolar spiral that they thought spending their paycheck on a Kardashian game was a good idea. Hi, Mum. It's not surprising the game saw such a huge resurgence in the 2020 pandemic when we were all locked inside and dreaming of being a fashion influencer. I know I was. The game features classic staples of corporate indoctrination to keep you addicted and invested like a rat in a box pushing a silicon filled button. Loot boxes, positive reinforcement, random rewards which spike your dopamine just when the game thinks you're gonna leave. They also create artificial scarcity in the game with in-app purchases and limited deals and daily rewards and I could go on and on and about this but there's probably a thousand other videos. I mean, Fortnite has already cornered the market on turning kids into gambling addicts. What is truly sinister about this gameplay here is the goal of the whole game is to become as famous as possible in devious and nefarious ways. It gamifies social situations where you're rewarded for only talking to those who can help you climb that social ladder. There are options in the game where you choose to chit chat, mingle, make small talk, as if any human interaction needs to come with a price tag. It takes the most toxic elements of influencer culture and gives you them as tasks, such as adopting a baby for clout, or building the perfect boyfriend that the media will love, or owning a fast fashion brand. We all know how those goes, Shein. I know the whole video games cause violence debate is crap, but I think the video games cause unrealistic social expectations debate should be raging. A game where manipulating your friends to reach the top, where endless consumerism is the only goal, where time-related pressure forces you back into the game again and again and again. Surely this isn't good, and it's a good thing that this thing is coming to an end. But what's coming next? What's the next wave? My money is generally on this, say, a bad Barbie game where you rise to fame as a teenager shouting on talk shows and then become a model on your 18th birthday. There you go, kids. That's how you're meant to live your life.